Two stings, one night. I'm ready if you're ready. This is crazy, but if you're up for it. Here we go. One, two, three. Ow! From a bird's eye view, the Sonoran Desert looks like nothing more than a scattering of rocks and sparse plants. But we all know by now that it is alive with animals. During the daylight hours, these creatures stay hidden, doing their best to avoid the scorching sun. Yet when this glowing orb disappears behind the mountains and darkness sets in, a menagerie of creepy crawly nightmares emerge from the shadows. In past episodes, we have shown you many of these animals, almost all of which are venomous, and that we as a team consider to be biological landmines. Break it down a bit further, and you have what I call the triple S. Snakes, spiders, and scorpions. Just the word, scorpion, makes my skin crawl. And the Sonoran Desert is home to three distinct species the notorious bark scorpion, the striped-tailed, and the giant desert hairy. We have featured these arachnids before, and I even freehandled a bark scorpion, which possesses the most painful scorpion sting in the United States. And for me, this is also different and extremely nerve-wracking. But the reason that I'm doing this is to prove that these scorpions aren't just out there to sting you. However, this brought about one very interesting question. If the bark scorpion is considered to be the worst, then what is the sting pain difference between the giant desert hairy and the striped tailed? So tonight I'm going to be stung by both to bring us the answer to that question. Warning, scorpion stings can be incredibly painful and potentially lethal. Never attempt to replicate this experiment. Use the cap? Yes! All right, let's go. There they are, guys. On my left, the giant desert hairy scorpion, and on the right, the striped-tailed scorpion, two of the most common species here in the Sonoran Desert. Scorpions absolutely creep me out. I'm just gonna turn this giant desert hairy scorpion toward you there. Look at that thing. Pinchers, stingers, fur, ugh! The little striped tail scorpion is actually kind of cute. He's just curled up in the corner there. Pretty cool to see the difference between the two of them up close like that. Look at that size difference. That is pretty intimidating. You may be wondering to yourselves, Coyote, are you nervous? Oh yeah, I am definitely nervous because I'm gonna be stung on one hand by one species of scorpion and the other hand, by the other species of scorpion. Now, the reason that I'm being stung is to prove that it's not all about size. Size doesn't necessarily matter when it comes to the pain and potency of a sting. So, we're gonna find out whether the giant desert hairy scorpion is more painful than the striped tail scorpion or vice versa. I mean, you look at the giant desert hairy scorpion, that's a big arachnid. Definitely intimidating. And then you look at the striped tail, you're like, oh, he's tiny. He's almost cute. That sting can't hurt that bad. Oftentimes what you wanna look at are the pinchers, or as they're properly known in the scientific community as pedipalps. Now those are the front arms that have these little claw-looking appendages, right? The pedipalps oftentimes signify whether or not a scorpion has potent venom. That's because the smaller the pedipalps, oftentimes the more potent the sting. You'll notice the giant desert hairy scorpion's pedipalps are enormous, right? It can grab onto its prey, squeeze and crush it, and then inflict a sting. When it comes to the striped tail scorpion, the pedipalps are actually pretty small. So I'm thinking this venom may be more potent. But I think ultimately, we're gonna test it on my hands and see exactly which one is more painful in the realm of human experience. It's definitely more intimidating to look at the larger scorpion to yeah. me. 
Well, and what's cool about the Giant Desert Hairy Scorpion and where they get their name is I can actually see this really well through the light beams there are all of the hairs that are growing on the tail. And you may not have known this, but the little bulb at the end of the tail there, that's called the telson. And the telson is what connects to the stinger and that is where all of the venom is stored. Looks like it wants to sting you right yeah, now. Yeah, it's, it's coming right for me, thinking to itself, oh, just let me get a wallop at your hand, coyote. I'll send you packing. And a little striped tail, he's just curled up in the ball there, saying, all right, I'm in the bright lights. Maybe if I don't move, I'll be camouflaged and nobody will see me. Well, I think since the Desert Harry appears to be volunteering, it should go first. It does look like it's volunteering, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, now the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna use forceps to pick up the scorpion by its tail. Then I'm gonna actually get a hold of the back knuckle of the tail and the telson, and I'm going to gently place the scorpion in the crux of my hand. I will loosely position it in place, let go of the tail, whap, and I'm gonna get stung somewhere in that general area. Now, in case you guys are wondering, as always, we have an epinephrine pen right here just in case my body has some sort of negative allergic reaction to the venom, but keep this in mind. There is no reported case of anyone ever dying from either of these two scorpion species. The only real danger that these scorpions possess is that their sting is painful. It's not going to kill you. Well, I think it is time to compare the giant desert hairy scorpion sting to the striped tail scorpion sting. Are you guys ready? I'm ready if you're ready. I, this is crazy, but if you're up for it, <sighs> you don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. Well, and it's not even one sting. It's going to be two different stings. I've never done two stings before, so this one is a little bit different, but I think I am ready. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to put the striped tail down here out of the shot. I'm also going to move the epinephrine pen down here onto my pack and bring in this GoPro. Rolling. Here we go. Just became real, didn't it? Get the scorpion out. There we go. That's a risky little balancing game there, isn't it? Now I'm going to keep the plastic container right here because I have a feeling that as soon as I am stung, I'm gonna drop the scorpion and then I'm gonna have to put the container back on top of it, or at least I'm gonna try just like I have with some of the insects in the past. This arachnid though may scurry off the table. If it does, don't worry about it guys. Don't try to get the scorpion. I'll try to compose myself and get it back under control. If it gets away, it's just gonna run off into the desert. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the giant desert hairy scorpion. Are you ready? I'm ready as I'm gonna be. Here we go. One. Two. Here we go. Three. Ow! Yeah, get into this container. We got you, I saw that. Ah! Ah, just a little nick on the finger. <laughs> Did you see that though? Yeah, I saw him. He whacked your finger. Oh, man. <sighs> What's it feel like? Like a bee sting, actually. Was it instant? Uh, yeah, it was pretty instant. It went like the stinger I could feel it go boop right up underneath my skin. Ah, <sighs> see if it drew blood. No, it didn't draw blood. Mmm. It hurts though. Definitely hurts. Tingling, it's kind of like a uh, like a bunch of little pins and needles going into my finger. Ah. Ah. Ah, shake it off. <laughs> Round one. Round one, well, it's not that bad. As compared to a bullet ant or a tarantula hawk, that was honestly nothing. That did feel almost just like a bee sting. Honestly, maybe not even as bad as a bee sting. Ah. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right. Ready for round two? Respect, Mr. Giant Desert Hairy Scorpion. Respect is what you get. So now that you remember what it feels like, you've been through the bullet ant, you've been through the velvet ant, all these things, what's that like now? Um, 
scorpion not nearly as bad as some of the other things that I've been stung by. But again, remember, oftentimes with larger pedipalps, it means less venom potency. The striped tail scorpion, small pedipalps, powerful sting. Are you ready? I'm gonna go ahead and get striped tail out of the container here. This is one frisky little arachnid. It's so tiny. Got you. Look, it is just chomping onto the forceps with those pedipalps. Hey, look, look, look. There we go. And you've never been stung by one of these, so this is this is a first. This is going to be a first, yes. <sighs> Two stings, one night. <laughs> it's hard to hold the forceps now with my finger. My finger hurts. All right. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone again, this time with the striped tail scorpion. Are you ready? Whew. One, two, three. Ow! Whoa! Hold on, he's right there. Let me get him. Ah! Oh, yeah, he got me. Did you see that? Yeah. Ah. Oh, right there on the side of my finger. Ah. It's turning red a little bit. Ah. Oh. Ah, yeah, that one hurts more. Ah. Is it like a Bernie? Ah. Mm. Tell us what's happening. Ah. Burns. A little bit worse than the giant desert hairy scorpion. Ah. Uh, yep. Yeah, right there, you see right there on the side of my finger? You see yeah. that? Red Just spot. barely, that little red spot. Ah! That's a slightly softer part of the finger, too. Ooh! Wowzer! You knocked the GoPro off. Uh, I did, didn't I? Yeah. Ouch! Yeah, I like jolted the table. That one actually gave me more of a jolt than the giant desert hairy scorpion. Ooh, wow, that like shot me backwards. Did you see that? Yeah. That was uh, that was a sharp little wing. Ow! It didn't look like he was gonna sting you at first. His, his stinger stayed out, and then all of a sudden, at the very last second, whap! Uh, it was delayed. That's for sure. Ah, uh, man, my finger's burning. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody always, everyone <laughs> bashes me for asking if you're okay. I've always worried about. And now you're also you okay? No, I'm okay. I'm definitely okay. Uh, what's funny is that my my finger that was stung by the giant desert hairy scorpion does not hurt anymore. All the pains in this hand now, this definitely hurts worse. Striped tail scorpion without question is a more painful sting than the giant desert hairy scorpion. Ow. But honestly, nowhere close to the velvet ant, the tarantula hawk, or the bullet ant. Nowhere close. All right, let's bring Harry back up into the scene here. All right, you guys did awesome. You both successfully stung my hands, exactly what we wanted to happen. And actually, it's only my hand that was stung by the striped tail scorpion that still hurts at this point. So what we have learned is that oftentimes, it is the smaller pedipalps and the smaller scorpion that has the more potent and more painful venom. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, my fingers still hurt. Being stung by these two scorpion species has hopefully answered the question as to which is worse. And I think we can now complete the hierarchy in saying that size doesn't always matter. Because while it may be the largest, the least painful sting actually comes from the giant desert hairy, followed by the striped-tailed, leaving the reigning king of sting in the southwest as the bark scorpion. So now when I say the word scorpion, I bet for many of you, a chill still runs down your spine. However, despite their creepy, alien looking appearance and intimidating stinger, these animals have no interest in stinging humans and oftentimes do their absolute best to avoid having a close encounter of the human kind. If you thought getting stung by two scorpions seemed intense, make sure to go back and see what happened to my face after getting stung 32 times by honeybees. Whoa, that one was painful. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.